Hello, I hope you are safe and well. Today, we'll be solving for the menstrual central tendency using Excel. In our first example, we have here the raw data. Now, to get the menstrual central tendency, which is which are the mean, median mode, and the mid range, we'll get the sum first. Sum of all that I have here. And then enter. And then have 20. Um, values, which is represented by letter N, the total number of elements. To get the average, all you have to do is divide the sum. Then enter. We have actually the same answer. The mean Again, the mean is just the same with the average. How about the median? For the median, what you will do is you will look for the center. Now, here in our problem, the center here is 10. Both are 10. There are two centers. If you have two centers, what you will do is you just average it. So 10 plus 10 divided by 2 is simply 10. But if you want to use the formula in Excel, we have here the median. And then you highlight everything. And then you enter. So we have there the 10. Okay. Now one is the mode. So what you can do is you just use the mode here. And then you highlight everything. But you will have a problem if you have more than one mode. Or what we call the unimodal. What if you have a multiple mode? The multimodal or the bimodal. So... You can use this formula. You will highlight the parts where you want your mode to be written. And then you write the equal sign. And then you write mode, multiple. So you have multiple mode. Highlight this. And then press enter. Now, obviously, I just have 8. Because 8 is the mode in our problem. In our given. But if I have more than um, one mode, it will reflect here. Then the next one is the mid-range. So the mid-range is just getting the maximum and the minimum. You add them and you divide it by 2. So for this one, I'll just get the maximum. Very obvious that the maximum here is 24. And the minimum, I'll just write the formula. And then you just add everything. 24 plus 6. And then you divide it by 2. And that is our mid-range. So all of this is actually our measure of central tendency tools.